My name is Siu Jian Jin, and today I would like to share a story about microglia galactin 3 in neurodegenerative disease. I have been working on Huntington disease, which suffer from movement disorder, as well as telepathy such as Alzheimer's disease. Unfortunately, there are still no cure for these disorders. In the brain, we have neurons, oligodendrocyte, astrocyte, and microglia. Microglia is the immune cell of the brain. Under normal conditions, the level of galactin-3 is very low in the cells. However, in Huntington disease microglia, the level of galactin-3 is significantly upregulated. Besides, there are also more lysosomes in the Huntington disease microglia. If you see here, a portion of lysosome actually damage in the Huntington disease microglia. And interestingly, it recruited a lot of galactin-3 to accumulate in the lysosomes. From confocal microscopy, you get to see that the signals of galactin-3 appear as pangta and colocalized with the signals of lysosomes. From 3D image reconstructions, we get to see that a lot of these damaged lysosomes contain galactin-3 inside of them. Accumulations of galactin-3 at damaged lysosomes interfere with the clearance of damaged lysosomes. This will ultimately cause inflammations. Galactin-3 inhibition promoted the clearance of damaged lysosome and reduced inflammations. In this mouse model of Huntington disease, as you can see, in the HD mice with galactin-3 inhibition treatment, it performs significantly better than the HD mice without any treatments. So from here, we know that depletions of galactin-3 in vivo prevents motor impairment in Huntington disease. We also further our study into Taabati. Two collaborations, we have used multiple approach, including the human brain of Taabati patients, Taabati mouse model, learning and memory behavior, as well as human IPS-derived microglia, engineered cell line, bulk and single cell RNA sequencing. From here, we have characterized the role of galactin-3 in Taabati. We are also in the progress to develop novel galactin-3 inhibitors. By using ultra-high throughput screening platform, we have screened for about 24,000 compounds and identified a few compounds that show effective galactin-3 inhibitions. The significance of our study is that we have identified novel mechanistic role of galactin-3 in neurodegenerative disease and show that galactin-3 inhibitions can serve as a new strategy for the therapeutic interventions. With that, I would like to thank all the collaborators and the people who have helped to make this project successful. Thank you very much.